Hey everybody, God bless you. Have you been checking your fruit? Have you been checking your fruit daily? What fruit are we talking about? We're talking about the fruits of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit being manifested through you. Each and every last one of us who have received Christ Jesus in our life. The fruits of the Spirit are found in Galatians 5, 22-23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness temperance against such there is no law. And Christ gave us a commandment in 1 John, I mean in John 13, uh, 34 and 35. He said, a new commandment given to you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. And men will know that you are my disciples by the love that you have for one another. This is what we're supposed to equip ourselves for. This is what ministry is supposed to equip ourselves for. This is what the Holy Spirit equips every last one of us to bear the fruits of the Spirit. And the thing about it is so important because as every, every individual of us go do the work in the ministry, we can reach people who really need the ministry and the gospel. And the, you know, on the 14th of May, there was a young man that sat there and shot 10 people of color because he said he's a white supremacist and he wants, he has a concern about the population growth in this country. And the thing about it is I bet you that he had been to ministries and have encountered different saints. And I only can pray and hope that saints will start ministering to individuals like that. Regardless of their passion, you show your passion as a believer. You gotta let them know the such as in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Or look at this in Galatians 3, 25. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For you are all, white or black, the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. By faith. For as many as you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you be in Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heir according to the promise. You are, Let them know. You have to bear the fruit. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. That's John 14, 6. So love one another. Teach one another. Help these people. God loves you. I love you too. Be ministry out there. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit? You know the fruit we're talking about is found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. And the fact is that uh, like in Matthew 12, 33, it says, either make the tree good and the fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and the fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. What are you known by? We saw what happened with the European American that killed 12 African Americans on the 14th of May around that time for just the mere color of the person scared. Don't even, never even met those people and did it. But you know something? Those that are believers, and we're talking about all believers, whether you're European-American, African-American, or whether you are uh, uh, Native American, Mexican-American, we it's not in us to be like those people to do those type of things. So you're not going to take our joy. See, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Christ gave us a new commandment in John 13, 34, he said, New commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. In verse 35, he said, This man will know that you are my disciple for the love that you show for, toward one another. And I want to use the scriptures here in Matthew 16, starting in verse 21. From that time forth began Jesus showing to the disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned, Jesus, and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art offensive to me. For thou savest not the things that be of God, 
for those that be a man. See, those who hate people because of the color of skin, they're saving, you saving that type of thing. It's not of God. 24, then said Jesus to the disciple, if any man comes after me, that's of all believers, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. John 14, 6 said, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me, not by the color of your skin. Come on now. For whosoever shall lose, save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Why would somebody give up their soul? Matter of fact, why would somebody even do what they did and then go to prison and, you know, we got in prison is held by itself, ain't it, in some cases. Check your fruit. Don't do that. Same the things of God. God loves you. Amen. I love you too. <laughs> hey, everybody. God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit? The fruit of the Holy Spirit being manifested in you. It's so important for you to know that. As we equip ourselves to do the work of the ministry, you're going to have to bear fruit. What fruit are we talking about? Father Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there's no law. What we're trying to say is that people will we would deal with you and interact with you if you bear fruits of the Spirit. You act ugly, you act mean, you act nasty, you act judgmental. People ain't gonna listen to you. And then one of the things I think is important for you to understand too is that Christ gave us a commandment found in John 13, 34. He said, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. 35 said, he said, men will know you are my disciples for the love that you have for one another. So we need to bear fruit and one of the fruits of loving one another is the fact is that as believers, as believers in Christ, we love one another. Can we do the same mission to go and preach the gospel? Amen. And the fact is that one of the things that we need to make sure we don't get caught up into is, and we talked about it before, don't label groups of people because people are who they are individually, not as groups. Especially you can't group people based on the color of skin. You, it's, you know, European Americans or, or white Americans, you can't say, well, all white Americans are, are bad. You have to sit there and say, each individual in every act they do, like what the guy did in, in Buffalo, New York, does not mean that every white American do that, right? Same thing as that you talk about Black Americans or African Americans or Mexican Americans, we, we, we're not all the same. Brothers and sisters are not the same. So don't try and don't allow people to put people in a group or as one. No, the only make us one is by the fruits that we bear. It makes us known by that. In Matthew 12, 33, it says, either make the tree good and the fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and the fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. God's going to look at you. He's old generation of vipers. How can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasures of the heart bringeth forth good things. An evil man out of the evil treasure, treasures bringeth forth evil things. What's coming out of your mouth? What are your actions? What are your character? Are you known by evil or are you known by good? Check your fruit. God said, love one another. Do that. Amen. Check your